How's it going everyone? My name is Case and in this episode of TFL Off-Road we are going to be doing an MPG test with our Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. This has the 5.3 liter V8 and a 10 speed automatic transmission but what we're going to be testing in this video is how the placement of our roof nest rooftop tent affects the MPGs because at the moment we've been having it sit above the line the top edge of the cab. We're going to test our MPG with a tent both above the cab and below it. And we have a long way to go, so let's get moving. All right, it is currently 9.49 a.m. and we are on our way to St. George, Utah. It says that we're gonna get there at about 7.25 and we're on our way, Alex and I, to do a Yamaha event. So keep your eyes peeled for a video coming from that soon. We're gonna be driving a side-by-side -side or two, right? Oh yeah, let's get this going. Starting route to Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. Nine hours, 36 minutes, 640 Proceed to miles. to Sterling Circle, then turn right. And we are all topped up, so we're starting this with a full tank of gas. So I took over driving for Case Little. It's a little bit of a long drive, so we're splitting it up, but uh, right now, we are about uh, 306 miles into our journey, and right now the trip computer is saying 17.9 miles per gallon. Uh, we've got about 105 miles remaining on this tank, so uh, a little bit more and then we'll stop for some fuel. As Alex mentioned, we have basically ran this trail bus completely out of gas. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up, but we're not gonna calculate our mileage quite yet. We're gonna wait until the end and calculate the mileage for our total trip. Then once we're on our way back to Colorado, we will drop this rooftop tent down and see if it does anything different. So we just topped off, we have 375 more miles of range according to the truck, and if we look over here, I've got the maps pulled up. Let's see how much longer we have to go. About just under four hours, another Starting 200. to Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. Another 280. quarters of a mile, turn right to merge onto I-70 West. Now she's done talking. Another 287 miles, should be there at 852. We stopped and had a long lunch, so, uh, tack some time onto there but yeah we should make it there on this tank and then just top up and uh, see what our MPG is. So we're uh, we're still cruising on the road it's 643 at night um, we've got, kind of got our last like 15-20 minutes of sunlight here so I figure I'd give you guys an update but uh, yeah, we've got you know three quarters of a tank still. We're about two hours outside of our hotel and where we're gonna gas up for the last time. And uh, really nothing to report. The truck's been rock solid. It's, it's just easy, it's just cruising away. Granted, we're not towing or hauling anything. It should be rock solid and super easy, but yeah, it's, it's doing well. So if we take a peek in here, this is our final trip. Um, so 648.2 miles total from the office in Boulder to uh, where we are right now, just outside of Hurricane Utah at the gas station. And that We're using the trip computer because that includes our little lunch detour and gas detours. And according to the computer, 15.8 uh, MPG, but of course we gotta do our own calculations and see exactly what the real number is. So let's do that. Oh my God coming out faster. Wow. Well, that's not right. It must have gotten really good mileage. <laughs> I think we need a new pump. So we're not uh, forgetting about this, just so we're clear. We're gonna add this 0.389 gallons to uh, our total number since, yeah, since the pump's doing us dirty.
We've got all the gas in this truck. It's time to do our calculations. So, Alex, what was our number for the first fill-up? So the first fill-up used 22.704 gallons. Then we had a tiny little fill-up for 0.389 gallons. And then our real fill-up was 19.492 just now. So that's a total of 42.585. All right, so 648.2 divided by 42.585. The moment of truth, 15.2. So that's 0.6 different from what our trip computer was telling us. And that's pretty typical. Usually those things are fairly accurate and being within half a gallon in terms of MPG, that's not far off. So we just dropped the rack down to what is marked on it as position seven. And that puts it pretty much exactly in line with the cab. And if you look down here, that's as low as we can go because these posts are starting to hit the wheel well right there. And of course, having the roof nest this low definitely limits your space here in the bed, but it puts it again right in line with the cab. So I think this will actually have an effect on our MPGs because I know having something like this on top of your vehicle doesn't help. Alex actually shot a video on that and the results spoke for themselves. So we're back here at the same gas station that you last saw us at and we're about to fill up before we head out on the road to Colorado. And already in the short drive that we've had with this, I love the way it's set up. It's, it's sporty, it's streamlined, I bet our center of gravity is lower, and it's even reduced our visibility out the back window. So we've basically turned this thing into a Lamborghini. But let's go ahead and get some gas in this truck, get going down the road, and see how it does. Guys, we are in Green River, Utah right now doing our first fuel stop on the way back to, uh, to Colorado. We have not had good luck with these pumps. There we go. So we're filling up. We're going to grab some lunch and uh, yeah, we're not going to do our calculations here. Just like last time, we're going to finish the trip all the way back to Boulder. We'll fill up there. This should be the only, uh, the only fill up we need between here and home. So. Yeah, we'll do that, grab some food, and then good to go. Our trip computer shows that we've done a total of 621.6 miles at an average of 17.7 miles per gallon. So already it's pretty much guaranteed that we did better on mileage this round with the tent lowered, but we're going to verify those numbers and figure out what the exact difference is. There we go. Now we are fully topped off and our final number on this final fill up is 17.99. And Alex has rest of the numbers, so let's go ahead and do our calculations. What is the first number for our first fill up? 17.201 gallons. Which I actually remembered. Cool. And then the next one, if I can pull it up here, was 17.99. Which I also remembered. Cool. One That's point. the total gallons used on the trip back, 35.191 gallons. 621.6 divided by 35.191? Yep. 191. It's a lot of numbers. 17.66, and that's compared to 15.2 when that tent was above the cab. So that's more than a two MPG difference, and that makes a lot of sense because an object like that obstructs a lot of air. So yeah, it's really not surprising that we did see an MPG difference. If you have one of these tents, you should try and put it as low as possible because it will actually help your MPGs. And as that accumulates over time, that is gonna make a difference in the amount of money that you end up spending on fuel. Anyways, that's all for this video. As always, be sure to go back to TFL Truck, TFL Car, and TFL Off-Road for more news, views, and real-world reviews. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.